Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, making some really good trades, and yep, let's just get into it. We can see that Bitcoin right now coming down or coming up to 43,600, holding this level of support for the time being. We can see getting a nice little bounce from that lower level as we can see yesterday. But now we're gonna probably see some resistance coming in at 44,200. Or you guys can take a look at the top here, also coming in to some resistance, 44,000 or sorry 43,800 as we can see we're stuck in between these two lines at the moment trading sideways on some shorter time frames you guys can see but again if we don't hold these levels you know and we start to form a bear flag we could come down and retest 42,000 before getting a major bounce so 42,000 is still my target so if we do start to roll over here we are going to touch that point and we're going to get a significant bounce from these levels maybe it's going to push us up all the way back up to 45,600 or maybe as high as 46,300 300 before we continue our, our move down again it looks like we're still stuck in this pattern right here we'll take a luna actually we'll, we'll let's take a luna let's take a look at luna quickly because uh, i wanted to talk about it a lot of people in the discord are very excited about luna how it's uh it's at uh you know 104 dollars right now you know this 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 token was at one dollar before so a huge move you know for for luna since you know i guess 2021 the beginning of 2021 so big uh big gains there for you guys but again if you guys want to trade this i want to be i'm going to be looking at some major resistance coming at here you know if we do right take a rise up uh, 134 is going to be an area to short from this from this point to this point would it would be shown as some major resistance or potential resistance so i'm, I'm willing to bet you know if we do take a short on here it's going to be around this level right here or whenever we make contact with this trend line is right here and then coming down we're probably going to you know hold the support at around the 200 moving average so if you guys want to short you guys could probably enter around here and then exit around there but doesn't mean we're going to find some you know resistance or support levels before then you can definitely take a look at market cipher as well can it can give you some pretty good ideas now moving along let's go back to bitcoin and ethereum also you know ethereum let's is it this chart yeah there we go ethereum holding nicely three thousand one hundred fifty one dollars perfect bounce from those levels so you guys enter those trades at these levels boom you're up 2.62 percent already so make a nice little nice little scalp there but again if we don't hold these levels next level to look at is going to be around 2900 or 2890 after that 2638 so but if we do come back up you guys want to be taking a look at 3400 so 3400 would be your level to short out once again if we do get back up there again the traditional market's getting a nice little rise today in the price but again in my opinion looks like we got rejected from that blue line once again so if we do come down to dow jones you want to be taking a look at you know 34,000 as your next support and we'll just leave a marker there for everyone else in the discord if you guys haven't already you guys can join the discord you get access to all these charts right here uh nasdaq forgot to draw that major trend line but i guess we'll redraw it after this video but basically i believe i have it right here uh nasdaq there we go again nasdaq we got rejected at these levels uh still holding our shorts on the <laughs> the challenge account for the stock market so expecting some more downside in the markets but for the time being looks like we're pausing taking a breather that's completely natural you know sell-offs don't happen overnight they're slow bleed down and sometimes they can be violent and downwards very quick but you know the recovery is, is pretty quick as well so we can see we're getting a nice you know very strong bear market rally right here in my opinion 17 percent pump so from here on uh, like in my opinion from here on we're gonna, it's going to be much more downside as the rates keeps rising and the federal reserve begins its unloading of the balance sheet beginning in may uh 95 billion every month so that's going to be pretty significant so you want to take a look at what the fed is doing again don't fight the fed follow what the fed is doing if they're going to tighten tighten with them look for more shorts don't look for longs you know a lot of people are still looking for longs thinking the bottom is in, in my opinion the bottom is not in there's ways to go down in the traditional markets and this is going to drag bitcoin down as well again let's take a look at bitcoin on the market cipher chart we can see right here dbsi with a nine and a zero so starting to the you know the slow move down starting to slow down a little bit and we could be finding some support here with a nice green dot on the four hour but the four hour looks like we're in the red money flow right now so not the greatest but you know on the daily time frame we are still in the green 
uh, but you know it's it is starting to curl down a little bit so maybe cause for concern but you know want to take a look at the weekly as well some major time frames weekly looks like we're still in the green again if that VWAP starts to come down and the price to keep starting to come down then you're probably going to see the money flow cut into the red and once we cut into the red that's when we put that marker in and we're probably going to have a 50 percent correction from there so always pay attention to that guys you know historical patterns right here cut into the red 50 percent correction cut into the red and market set for 50 percent correction so it's just <laughs> it's not magic <laughs> it's all on the charts you just have to know how to read them and right now things are looking quite good for bitcoin we might be getting a little bit of a pump but again i don't have a i don't have a crystal ball i don't know what's going to happen tomorrow i don't know what the news is going to be you never really know you could just react and you got to react quick and again we could take a look at some, you know, we'll look at some little more bullish scenarios. Let's take a look at some so many bearish scenarios. Uh, you can see that Bitcoin right here. You know, I believe this is a 300 day moving average for uh, for Bitcoin or 100 day. I'm not too sure uh, on the Pi cycle top indicator. But basically what we could see on the Pi cycle top indicator, once we came back down, uh, we know we once we broke this, this moving average and we came back down, we tested that support and that propelled us to a new all time high after. Now, again, right now we have broken it you know and we are retesting at support right now now if we do hold it it's possible we do you know we keep trending up towards the upside Six, a lot of people are anticipating sixty thousand dollars but we're just gonna have to see what's gonna happen because if we don't hold it and we do start to come down then boom you know it's gonna be invalidated and the bear market continues so yeah overall just to pay attention to what the charts and the indicators are telling you guys don't rush into trades blindly uh pay attention <laughs> Also, if you guys have it already, you guys can uh, subscribe to the Discord. It's still $10 a month for now. We are very close from increasing in prices. We're almost at 9,000 subscribers. I believe we're at 8,966. So the 9K mark is almost there. So the sale will only lasts for a few more days, in my opinion. As more people sub, I guess some people are going to unsub <laughs> to keep the prices low. But, you know, that I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> uh, Mike Stavia just actually posted in the Discord right now. Mickey VET is in the buy zone. Double down time. Already unloaded, my friend. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Love you guys. Thanks for listening. You guys have been awesome. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Also, Kenny. Kenny making some great trades. He's still talking to me. And he's still making some amazing trades. But he's just taking some time off. But very nice trades, Kenny. He made up to $600, I believe, today. Uh, longing the S&P 500. So good job on that trade, my friend. Love you guys. Peace. If you haven't already, you guys can sign up for BitGet Trading. Links in the description. Help support the channel. Peace.